Hey folks, thanks for stopping by. Today's project is going to be a ring from a small piece of stabilized plywood. Stick around, we'll get started. Preparation for this week's project is a little involved, so I want to take a few minutes to go over the process. Uh, first, I cut up some small squares of wood of the appropriate size for ring blanks and threw them in my toaster oven for 24 hours at 215 degrees. This removes all of the moisture from the wood. Um, next, I took those small blanks, dropped them in a container full of cactus juice, and first uh, put it under, under vacuum until the bubbles stopped coming out, which means all the air had been removed from the wood, and then let it soak for about twice that long. Next, I wrapped those in tin foil threw them back into the oven for uh, at 200 degrees for about an hour. This hardens the resin that's that's deep inside the wood. So that uh, once it cools, you clean it up, we're ready to go. Let's get back to the project. To start today's project, I mounted a scrap block of wood in my chuck, and here I'm just flattening it off. Apologies for the voiceover this week. Uh, that vacuum pump and, and chamber you see in the background are actually making more ring blanks. I'll be mounting the ring blank with hot glue while I drill and shape the outside. I need to mark the center of the blank and put a small hole in it with an awl so I can use the uh, uh, code center on my tailstock to line it up on center of the uh, chuck. A little dab of hot glue around the, where the ring will be and it's ready to mount. First, I just knock the corners off the blank, making sure it's round. By this time, the glue has had sufficient time to dry, so I'm ready to drill it out. Luckily, the size of the ring that I'm doing today matches really closely the drill bit that I used. So now I'm sizing the thickness of the blank to be just slightly larger than the width of the ring. That's why I left the, the, the ring core in there. The best way I know to remove the blank from the waste block is to heat up a putty knife with a torch and slide it behind the blank. That's assuming you don't knock it off into nowhere, never, never land. For turning the outside profile of the ring, I'm going to use Craft Supply USA's ring metal. 
although you'll you'll notice I uh, left out a fairly important step, and that is uh, gluing the uh, ring core to the actual piece of wood. It'll, it'll come back and bite me in a bit. With these ring projects, you don't actually leave much material on the ring core, uh, only a millimeter or two. And what I'm doing here is bringing it down to size and then slightly rounding over the corners so that they're not uh, so that they're not sharp. I decided to go with the CA finish for this just for its durability. I ended up putting on about 10 coats of CA. Uh, that's CA and then activator, CA and then activator uh, about 10 times. As I started working my way through the micro mesh, I noticed that it seemed like the ring was slipping. So my first thought was, uh, there's a problem, well, maybe I didn't tighten up the nut, or maybe I need to add a, 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 an extra bushing in here to keep it from spinning. I, I completely forgot that I had glued the ring core to the actual ring body. So here in a second you'll see me kind of take it apart, try a few things, and then glue it back together and start the micro mesh all over again. A thin shot of CA inside the ring band and sliding it back on was all it really took to put it, put it right. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for sticking with me. Um, if it's your first time here, please be sure to hit subscribe, share, like, comment, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like.
I'll see you next week. Take care.